So people, the next question is BCG vaccines. Here you can see BCG vaccines for three marks. What will you write? First write the full form, okay? Bacillus calmet urin. Okay, it is for what? Tuberculosis. It prevents severe form of tuberculosis. So this vaccine, when do they give? At birth, okay? So when are you giving? At birth and only at that time. And how do you give it? It is intradermal, right? It is intradermal and usually it is given to the left hand, left arm. So basically you would have seen a mark, right? Which it leaves a mark. So from where do you get this uh, vaccine? How do you make it? So though all of us have this vaccine, this vaccine actually prevents, prevents miliary tuberculosis and tubercular meningitis. So like I told you, some forms of uh, TB it prevents okay because uh, otherwise also you see a lot of people in India getting tuberculosis right so the pulmonary tuberculosis and all it is not talking about and it is saying you can give it up to 16 years but anyways what you have to remember it is given at birth okay intradermal left arm in the deltoid area actually it says that it should be given uh, within the first year so what exactly the correct thing is in national immunization schedule is at birth. Okay, that much you remember. A lot of things as to if you miss it, then when and all that, that and all the very exceptional cases that we can leave for now. So how to get three marks? What type of a vaccine is it? It is a freeze-dried vaccine. Freeze-dried vaccine. Okay. So actually you reconstitute it. Okay, it is, it is in the lyophilized form. It is what? It is in lyophilized form. Well, lyophilized form what is lyophilized so basically this is mostly used okay the freeze dries form what you will do is you will reconstitute reconstitute it with what saline re are you able to see reconstitute with saline 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 don't forget this saline okay this is very common they will ask you see here just look at this uh, image, I will try to zoom. So here they are showing you sodium chloride as a dilutant, it says. So BCG vaccine. So they are giving this, uh, so, uh, um, what am I saying? The normal saline along with it, okay. What else? So you will uh, con reconstitute with uh, saline to make the final concentration of 0.1 mg, okay, in 0.1 ml of vaccine. So you will give how much? 0.1 mg, ml. You will give 0.1 ml. Wait, let's write that here. 0.1 ml you will give. 0.1 ml you will give. Okay. Intradermally you will give. And it will leave a scar like this. Here what they are showing you. Like a nodule, right? Um, so first year of life only they are saying. Within first year of life you should give. At birth, we will add that here. Till one year of life okay at birth or till one year of life okay don't give so many times only once you have to give okay it is a lifelong only one dose they are giving then a small nodule will develop as you are able to see here a small nodule will develop at the site of vaccination two to three weeks after injection it will slowly increase oh it will increase slowly in size and then it will attain a diameter of four to eight millimeter uh, after about five weeks, it then subsides or breaks into shallow ulcer. It can leave an ulcer which heals spontaneously. Okay. So once you vaccinate these people, they will be tuberculin positive. You know that test, right? Tuberculin test. So they will become tuberculin test. So if their tuberculin test is positive, it can mean that they are also, it can, what it can mean is they are infected or it can, it may mean, it can mean that they are vaccinated. Okay. Just to get some additional marks, you can add this uh, point here. It is uh, attained from Mycobacterium bovis. Okay. The vaccine is prepared. Vaccine is prepared from Mycobacterium bovis. Okay. By growing it on a potato medium. So how do you grow this uh, Mycobacterium bovis? By growing it on a potato medium this is very strange i never heard of a potato medium so if they give you in any quiz potato and a vaccine next to it uh, you can say micro uh, bcg okay 
This much is enough, I think. This uh, vaccination also has contraindications if the child or anybody who, whom you are giving this to vaccination to, if the person has AIDS, you should not give, okay? They didn't say HIV. If the person has AIDS, you should not give, okay? If the patient is on steroids, if they have measles, eczema, pertussis. So basically, if they are immunocompromised, they are not suggesting this uh, vaccination, okay? What else would you like to know, people? It's quite a huge topic where you can go into why these um, mycobacterium bovis strains were used, etc. What are the exact strains, the numbers of these strains, everything. A lot of information is there. For now, we are just focusing on clearing MBBS exam. For that, this much information is enough. Okay. Bye-bye.